Welcome to Rail Fence Canada. I'm Shane Seguin. Joining me today is Patrick Robert Meunier, who's the Director General of Mobio, which is the Centre de Gestion des Déplacements de Gatineau. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So today we're going to talk about the Gatineau Tramway. Yep. Obviously, it's a project that's been in the works for many years, and there's a lot of important benefits that that project will be. So let's start by talking a little bit about the project itself. What is the Gatineau Tramway? So the Gatineau Ottawa Tramway, which uh, is a project that has been in its planning phase for about four years, is really a, a, an interprovincial project that will help improve the traveling conditions between uh, the, two re the two cities, the two regions in the, 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 the capital region. And we really want to put in place a structuring transit project will really help uh, make the people move and also help the urban development so it, it is at the right place and structured around transit. One of the big things about the tramway is the route that it will take. There's two proposed routings, one to Elmer and one to the Plateau which is very much a growing sector of, of Gatineau. Can you tell us a little bit about both of these different routes? So we've had multiple studies and consultations during the project and one of the, the conclusion of those studies is that we really need two, uh, two sides of the project that it connects really Elmer and the Plateau, not just one. Uh, so the, the goal is really to go all out west in the Get Snow side and bring all those people in other communities in Get Snow, downtown Get Snow and also downtown Ottawa. Uh, to connect with the uh, the old train on the other side of the river, we knew that we know that there's 60,000 people crossing the river from one side to the other each day. It's been different with the pandemic, but still we're gonna come back to that, and we need a really uh, structuring pro transit project like the tramway to uh, ensure that people are moving uh, faster. Uh, and that they have uh, comfort in the, 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 the system that they will be in. So now the next question is about the insertion into Ottawa. There's yeah. two routes, one on the surface on Wellington Street and the other under Spark Street. Can you talk a bit about each of these options? So yeah, exactly. There was two options that has been analyzed in the studies. Um, the preferred option for the city of Ottawa would be underground under Sparks, but they, they would accept uh, on surface uh, project if the funding doesn't come to meet the need for uh, an underground project and well on our side it really doesn't make much difference uh, for people to uh, as long as we have a connection with the old train which is uh, the case in both project um, so really the, the issue here is really about uh, how it can uh, be inserted in Ottawa and how it impacts the, 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 the traffic in Ottawa. So there has been sayings about that the city of Ottawa wants to reopen Wellington Street, but really if we want, want to improve and change the mobility in downtown Ottawa and in front of the parliament, we really need solutions like the tram combined with um, uh, the closing of Wellington, which makes it really easier for people to walk and bike to their destinations and to the tram too. Now, right now we're standing in front of Terrasse de la Chaudière, which is, as you can see, a very busy bus terminus for the city. Obviously, the routing would pass through here for the tramway should it come to, to be, and this whole area will feel very different. So how would this region between let's say Montcalm and Maisonneuve where the Portage Bridge how would you see that potentially changing with the arrival of a tramway? Yeah well that's the counterpart of closing Wellington Street there's uh, there's been an analysis that says that we also need to close part of Laurier Street between the Chaudière Bridge and Portage Bridge to make sure that the tram can pass by and make sure that people can come and walk around easier on this side because as we see we also have a lot of cars going by and if we want an effective uh, system we also need to reinvent how people can move around in downtown here and get snow and that's part of the solutions uh, that have been uh, put forward there's no decisions yet but still it's part of the options that we have too um, so we really want to um, have lesser cars that come in here and with a better transit, put people, get people out of the cars and in the transit system. That's really uh, one of the main goals. 
So Gatnos had a Repi bus, which is a bus rapid transit system in place since 2013 on the east end of the city. Why would that technology not be sufficient or suitable for working uh, a better option for the west? So the main issue is really the crossing of the bridge, with, which with the number of buses that it needs, it wouldn't be effective, it wouldn't work. Uh, it's not viable. Uh, what the data shows is that for the number of people that we need to move, the tram is really the best option for the west side of, of Getzno. There's been a lot of growth uh, in the, the plateau in Elmer since the last 10 to 15 years and to meet the needs of the people to, to, to move quick, quick here and, uh, and faster and, and the, in a more effective way, we really need a project like the tram. That's why that it came up with the tram as the best option because the BRT would only meet the needs for the 10 next year. So it's not sufficient. If we, want, if we invest billions in the project, we want it to be uh, efficient for the, the next uh, 30 to 50 years. Uh, so that's why the, the tram is, is better suited as an option for uh, the west side. At the time when the Rapibus uh, was, uh, has been developed, there was also talks about having something on a rail because it, we, we would meet more the needs of the people there. There wasn't the funding though at the time, but that's, what, that's what's changing right now is that we have the funding in place. There's programs, existing programs at the, at the federal level and at the provincial level, and we have to take that opportunity to, to select the best option for the west side of Getzno. Now the project has been in the works for many years. There's been a lot of political interest, uh, promises, uh, support, but the project seems to be stalling right now. Yeah. So wh what's the status of the project and how can people get involved to help bring this to fruition and to reality? So the project has the support of the city of Getzno, the city of Ottawa, the NCC, the Quebec government, which is the only government that is committed in funding the project. Really the, the only main actor that is not there is the federal government. So we really need right now a leadership from, a uh, political re leadership from the federal government uh, in adapting uh, the, the programs that we have right now that fund the, uh, the transit project because it really doesn't fit with what we have here. The tram, the Gets No Ottawa tram project is an interprovincial program and hasn't been treated as such. And what we need right now is the, the, the federal government to step up and say, well, we need that for the, the interprovincial traveling to improve the conditions. It will really also help much of its own employees that really need the, the, the transit system to be effective. Um, so that's mainly what is uh, the, the, the situation right now. We, we are lacking federal uh, leadership on this project. There has been talks between the Quebec government and federal government, but still there's a stand that the federal government is taking is not really fit, doesn't really fit with the, the, the needs that we, we have in the uh, capital region of, uh, of, of Canada. So mainly what we are asking is that the federal government steps up. We have a coalition, a tramway coalition right now with the support of a lot of organizations, businesses, citizens association, event, environmental groups, institutions. We have a lot of people involved in that. People can uh, write to us if they want to get involved. It's Coalition Salier pour le Tramway. And they can uh, also support us by writing to the, their, their MPs uh, to put pressure on the federal government so that they move on that issue. Patrick Robert Meunier, thank you for speaking to us today about this important project for Gatineau's transportation future, the Gatineau Tramway. Thank you very much. Hope that you have the support you need to see this project a reality. Thank you again for your time. Thanks to you and thanks for your involvement in the, the rail project.